Hello, welcome to my channel, Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. Today I'm going to be playing with some index cards and some distress stains and some scraps. I need the scraps out of my way, that's why there's only a few there. And I already had a pile of index cards, but do you think? Here they are. <laughs> so, you know what's really fairly inexpensive at thrift stores? Index cards. Paid about 50 cents per pack for these, which maybe are not even the cheapest, but I think it was like $1.50 with, wait, how many did I end up with? I think maybe 25 cents per pack. Hold on. <laughs> Let me count. How many did I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I don't know. I got eight packs for about $3 with the 25% off on Thursdays. And this is what makes me think that this is what teachers do at the end of the year. They have extra index cards they didn't use because they tell them to bring in however many. I'm guessing three because there were three packs just for Parker. And I'm, I'm like, instead of holding on to them for the next year, I mean, I get that you don't always have, you have the space the whole year to hold on to them. Why are you going to make parents buy... Um, or, or the other thing is if you have 30 students and you have 30 things of index cards left at the end of the year, stick one in each person's backpack at the end of the year. I'm, I don't know. It just seems crazy that there's, yeah. I mean, cause there were still like two more packs, but I got these cause they had the color ones in them and those are fun to use sometimes. And then I'm kind of, all right. So. These are, I think these are this brand, and these are this brand, and I haven't tried this brand or this one. These definitely run. See, I figured, you know, while I'm playing with index cards, I might as well test to see which ones are um, better for adding wet. And then Rachel in her, and see, these are extra thin. These are not as these feel really thin so these are the oxford essentials essentials means we cheaped out on you just so you know that's what essentials mean um so yeah please recyclable please recycle blah 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 so these are the essentials and i don't know if you can see the difference between that one and i don't know i mean you can use i don't know they're definitely I expect these to run, to bleed, all the bleeding. I'm pretty sure this is what these are. Let me double check, because I'll be able to tell by, nope, these look different than, nope, this must be these, I don't know, these are so much, look how blue those are compared to the other ones. I cover up the lines. I know some people keep the lines. And me, I cover up the lines. It's kind of fun. All right, so this one's me. This is a different, I don't know which ones I opened. I think the other ones that were Parker's were staples. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I know, this is just silly. I don't know why I'm opening them all. I'm not using them all. Although I will use quite a lot. So these are a little rougher cut. I don't know if you can see that. That's the mead. These two are, one is um, staples and one is, one half the pile is staples and half the pile is EPI. And it's hard to tell because even though they died differently, they all look exactly the same. Huh. Are they the same? Oh, there's there's the difference right there. Let's see. What's funny is... Alright, so I would say these ones are the same color as those ones. So that these must be Staples ones. Alright. And then we have Target. I know, this is, I know. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully, um, 
you've just fast forwarded a little bit to where these are at least all open <laughs> instead of like you know these have a um a different feel to the others hmm. now i am curious all right so i'm going to put all these in their piles these five different kinds because i just kind of want to see what happens when they get wet and i'm just going to do that simply this seems dangerous to have where i'm about to spray water Oh, and I'm also going to show you how you can get your vintage photo to be a little bit less yellow if you're using, like, the Distress Stain. Or, I guess, even if you're using the inks. Like, I'm going to use purple. Purple will... Purple should... I don't know the amount, though. I'll tell you right now. I don't know the amount. Because... Right, these are, like, almost, like, two different... But they didn't leak anyway as much. I mean, they probably will some. But like I said, I cover that part. So, water. Water makes the world go round. I'm going to add a little water to each one just to see which ones bleed. And that might help you in the future. I don't know. Maybe you like when they bleed and lose all their lines. Uh, the target definitely look at they're almost disappeared the staples is actually doing pretty good the Oxford essentials well it doesn't stay wet <laughs> so it's hard to tell the first place you can usually tell is the pink line so up oh, Oxford essentials the pink line, yep, all the lines, these are like disappearing totally. So if you want to keep your lines and you want to dye your cards, you don't want to get Oxford Essentials or Up and Up, which I think is a Target brand. Now this Epi, I'm not seeing any movement. The Mead, hmm, I have to compare it to another one because they're so light to begin with. I think you do have some, yeah. I think some of the... I'll have to dry it. Let me dry it real quick. Okay, so the Staples one, no bleed. The Up and Up one, definite bleed and disappearance. The Oxford Essentials, definite bleed. The Epi, no bleed, no disappearance. And the Mead, M-E-A-D, still a little bit damp, but uh, even it just it run, ran a little bit and the lines lightened up. Is, and yeah goes through to the back too all right so that's my like real scientific test so now we can move on to like playing so I really don't care which ones I use um, honestly I think I would prefer whichever one is the thickest to play with which might just be staples so we'll just grab the staples cards for now although I'm collaging it doesn't have to be Maybe I'll save the staples ones for jelly printing then. Let's see, these ones, I'm gonna, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna use these, because they're gonna get covered up anyway. So the ones that run the most, I'm gonna collage over. So those can be the ones. I like when I find blank ones with no lines. Those are my favorites. Just saying, and I, I, I the ones that are color, I believe those also, they also do bleed. What brand are they? They are, oh, that's the Dollar Tree. Yeah, not really a shocker that they would breathe. <laughs> I'm not going to need this whole pot anyway. All right. So, the other day when Rachel Roxy Creations said, oh, it's so nice to use these index cards. I think she was probably collaging. I was like, oh, I'm glad I bought all those index cards at the thrift store. But it was raining, and I didn't have any that were coffee dyed. So then I was like, well, what do I do? So, let me move this away from where I'm about to spray again. <laughs> All the spraying is happening. So I did some uh, just distress spraying, just having some fun. That's These are ones that I dyed a while back, probably some food coloring. But I just found those today. So this was after I added the purple. These ones. Scraps just get everywhere. 
I believe those ones are after. This is the green and the uh, moss. And then I did the modeling also with the thing. Okay, and these were without the purple. So, and I don't know which one this one is. It looks kind of orangey. So I think that one's without the purple as well. So if you add a little bit of purple, then it counteracts the yellow a little bit. So you get more brown, brown. How did I do that, you ask? Oh, you didn't ask? <laughs> I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, of course, I can't find my spray, my purple spray. I don't know where my sprays are right now. It's, I think I know where they are, but I didn't want to get up earlier. And so I was like super lazy. So I just rubbed some of this wilted violet real technical just rub some on there just couldn't tell you how much seriously couldn't and then i just sprayed on top of that with the uh vintage photo distress distress spray and then of course unless you want it super dark then you have to then water that down wait a bit don't worry if we want to get some darker sprays later we can and then i just dip them. Oh, it's still pretty dark though. Um, on the non-color side in hopes that, you know, I won't have too much bleed through from that red. I don't really want a red line showing through. And just got as many of these wet as I could. Then dry them with my dryer. And then I can show you the next step. So yeah, adding a little bit of purple. If you have orange tones and yellow turn tones, add a little purple. You don't want to add just red. I mean, just, um, yeah, red, you'll get orange. Blue, you'll get green. Although to the orange, you might be able to add blue and get a brownie. A brownie kind of color. wipe up the rest of that okay I'll dry these and then I'll be right back now, if you don't have a hair dryer a heat, oh man my glass is wicked hot now a uh, heat gun um, you can just set them in front of your fan or use your blow dryer or just set them aside to dry or if it's sunny out just you know they should dry super quick all right so if you like them like this you're done you can just start collaging on the other side. Now, if you want a little bit more interest, you can. I'm trying to figure out how to get all this, all this uh, back together. So I'm just gonna use the water I just put on here, try to grab as much as the color from here again as I can. And probably add a little bit more. Where's, I wish I knew where Grand Espresso was. Add, there's a dry spot right here. I'm going to add some purple. I don't need that much purple. Oh my goodness. I mean, I want it a little bit darker. Oh, and if you didn't want it as dark as this, you would just, um, all you would have to do is put more water in when you're mixing it. So, I just want some of this. And I'm just going to use my brush and splatter some on there. You could also dip again. We'll do one like that. Let's see. Definitely do that edge right there. But. So let's see. Oh, let me find one that's a little bit lighter for the dipping part. They're not light. No, oh, that one wasn't too bad. Maybe could have got away with that one. All right. So like, let's see. These are all right here. This one's fairly plain. So if I just Dip it a couple more times. It'll add some interest. I was like, okay, did my cat make something fall? Nope, just the wind. It's just the bubble wrap falling behind me. You don't have to do this part. You can do that. You could do this part in a different color. You can do this part with like some little black splatters and white splatters of your paint, acrylic paint or watercolor paint if you wanted to. 
the world is your oyster. I mean, really, do what you want. And then, you know, we don't like to waste it, right? So, just get that all dipped in there the best we can. Just bring it all in. Now, the longer you let it sit like this, the more um, you're going to get dark on the edges, probably, because it just soaks up the water that it's sitting in. Okay. I'm going to dry these, and then I'll show you the next step that I like to do. So, you might want to stop here. You might think these are just perfect. In fact, I might leave a lot of these just like this, but I will also do some modeled some of the modeled do that one too any other ones that I want to lighten up a little bit maybe so then you know same brush you just had and you take the paint water don't ever mix it with your regular water especially if you be like me and you're just using a water bottle like you're not afraid of what you're going to do I don't generally drink out of a water bottle so I'm not too worried about it and just do the same thing we just did, but with water. And you can use a different size brush to get different size. I wanted bigger, I wanted bigger water spots, so I'm using this medium brush. If I use a smaller one, I'd probably get smaller. Also, I'm loading it up with the water, too. All right, so now, because it's Distress Spray, the Distress Spray Stain, it'll start to um it gets affected by the water you know so let me see i'm gonna go ahead and and you know that some comes off because you get the brown on your paper towel so that's what that one looks like now i don't know if you can see that or not because i can't see a thing i don't want it to go all the way back to white so i don't i don't want to wait too long to and you could also use the heat gun to dry it. Let's do that with this one. And then you get a little bit different effect. I think more darker lines around the edge of it when you use the heat gun. So there you go. You got your mottled, M-O-T-T-L-E-D, I believe is how you spell that. Your modeled, modeled effect. Oh, good. Now I can unplug this. So now you got the backs. I'm like that, all that just for the backs. Although, you could also do this for some fronts. And then you could just do some stamping and and uh, put a focal point on there. And they'd still be cool. And you'd have your lines on the back. If you don't mind them being really white lines. So these are all now the backs. These are all my pretty backs and I'm going to collage on this side and I like using smaller pieces for collage I like doing a master board too it, there's a lot to be said for both um, but you know I usually take three or four pieces I, I'm not afraid of even numbers I don't know why I keep looking at the camera when my microphone is down there oh hold on let me put these down here so hopefully you don't hear the fan as much um, so yeah, I got like one, two, three pieces, and there we go, look at that. I even folded that one over. That one's just two. That's all right. I'll probably, you know, there'll be other stuff added. So yeah, I just, some of them I didn't do um, the cuts because I might want to use it as a pocket or a journal card. But a lot of these I just turned into tags. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, like that one could definitely be a pocket. So could this one. So these are all ready for focal points. Most of them, some of this one could stand alone by itself. Um, I tried to be a little Rachel-y, put a little unexpected. Now I can't say it doesn't match though because there's a little blue flower there. So really it does, it does match. <sighs> Not matching is hard. <coughs> Whoops. But yeah, this one could also be used as a pocket or a side journaling card. So I didn't want to put my tabs on that one, you know, that one too. 
So yeah, so some of my, most of them I just did as tags. I have like over almost 30 that I made in the last couple days. That these are other ones that I already made before. Oops. All right, so those of course need focal points, but we'll do focal points in a minute. First, let's just collage a little bit and have fun with that, right? So, all right, see these thicker pieces? I tend to save these for, um, to use as in a, ah, what's the word? Clusters. I tend to use those in clusters. Oh, I do want to use this, but I want something behind it. What do I want behind it? I don't know. Not that. I mean, that's not bad. I really not need to not think about it so much, though, huh? But I had a bunch of stuff out earlier, and it's all back in the drawer now. All right, here we go. All right, let's see. It has a little bit of yellow and a little bit of this reddish pinkish. Oops, sorry about my head. So I could even put that up there. And have that be down there and that'd be kind of cute just need something there which I might find a piece from the same I was gonna say author from the same um, designer which would be Manu Manu design studio does that sound right Rachel watches Rachel Rachel uses her stuff too you know what? Just a piece of music would work, too. Especially if we put it upside right. But I want to um, put... See, and now all my scraps are where my glue's supposed to go. Oh, man, it's always something, isn't it? How? how? I just don't have a place for everything. Alright. I like when the music has numbers on it. Then I know which way is up. Or if it has sharps or flats that helps too because they're always in front of the um the thing the thing in my jig um i had a bone folder before would it oh, i guess we'll just use this one because you know just because i had it out before i started means nothing it means nothing if you have it out before you start uh, I was going to put this little rose up here. Oops. It's a little bit different than that rose. I'm okay with that. That doesn't bother me. And then I find the cheap uh, Christmassy papers, right? But then I don't use them all. I wasn't using any of them, so I just started printing on the back of them for pieces, for digitals that I knew I wanted to use for collage. Okay, I need just a little piece to stick back there because it doesn't line up as much as I thought it was going to. Go. There we go. All right. I almost kind of want to come on down a little bit further now. Well, we're just going to end up with some white because I can't tear that direction. There we go. I want a little bit more of that blue to show. Don't mind me, I'm just looking for this. Okay, so let's see. So yeah, that's what I've been working on for the last couple days. I did finish putting the front and back pockets in the mass making journals that I'm someday gonna finish. And I'm still obsessively thinking about what I wanna bring on vacation with me um, next month. I'm bringing my jelly plate. I've decided I was just gonna bring water. I was trying to keep it so simple. I was like, I'm just gonna bring watercolors and sketchbooks and pencils. That's it. That's all I was going to bring. And then, nope. That's, then I was like, oh, the jelly plate was calling me. And then Shell was like, well, yeah, you could use leaves and 
whatnot, and I'm like, oh my goodness, yep, have to bring it now, she talked me into it, thanks Shell, Shell talked me into it, didn't take much time. Did not take much convincing, obviously. So I'm going to use as much as I can from nature and whatever food products we have while we're on vacation, which is generally a lot of junk food, just so you know. Um, so yeah, so I think that'll be fun. And I will probably just bring one of my glue books. I mean, they have books up there I can, you know... Probably, or yeah, I have some free books that I could just, I don't want to like pay for a book. I'm sure there'd be things I could use in place of a glue book. Okay, that needs to dry a little bit. Where did I put, oh, here it is. At least glue comes off of this glass pretty easily. Oh, I love my glass. Even though it's in centimeters, I'm okay with that. You just, you just turn on the camera and you're like, is this Artie Mays or is this Darcy? You know, because she has the one in centimeters as well. <laughs> I think she probably has the same tonic one. But it was $15 cheaper. Sorry, people. But if it's between saving $15 and, and whatnot. All right, I kind of like that. Let's see what I can do here to get my glue in pretty much the right spot. I do like a bit of grunge. Now, if, if I'm like really, if I'm like, if I were to do like, you know, really try not to think and just throw stuff on there and not care about if it matches or not, like when I do my blind collage, so to speak, all I would have to do is if I don't like it would be to just add some gesso. Gesso is like magic. It's like fairy dust in the art world. Or if you don't have gesso, some white acrylic paint. Any of that works. Now this one I could do on a green one because it's got some green. But I think I will do it on a green one can't remember what this one's from, honestly. I think it's Took. I'm not totally sure. And then, let's maybe add a little bit of this. I'm generally because I'm getting glue all over everywhere I'm just basically when I'm done I cut it off I just throw it out because I don't know scraps don't have to live on forever no they don't I know you think that they do but they really don't I love when I just like have a piece that I pick up right next to it and you're like yeah, and you're just like yep that works and it kind of helps that some of the dye went through to this side this, so that if it does show through it's just going to show some green and I'm okay with that and I don't think that I'll cut the tips of this because the flowers and the nut they could go this way or this way plus I need to have some journal cards too not just all tags even though they'll all be the same size unless I cut some down totally do that. You can make smaller tags. Just make them smaller. <laughs> just cut them. You do really small tags. Probably get three out of each. So like what? One and three quarter inch? Something like that. I don't know. I think they're five. This way. And three this way. So I mean you could do a square but that seems funny. So yeah. There's another one. Collage is fun. Do you guys like to collage? Who likes to collage? This is Rachel. Roxy Creations. I just gotta remember to turn it the right way. Um, 
do you, you like to collage and do you which do you have a preference do you prefer like um to overthink it like i'm doing right now no do you prefer <laughs> to do a um master board or to do it smaller like this or all the ways are fun for you doesn't matter one way or the other and i might not even use it but still gonna cut it down a little I have a little thing up here for trash I know, after I did it, I'm like, you know, I could even have it just come off a little bit like this. It would be kind of cool. Maybe I will use this. I'm not saving my blue pages. I have way too much paper. Hopefully you don't hate me for that. And some of the books that, I'm, that I do use, um, in fact, I believe this is one of them, I got out of the free bin. So they were kind of destined for the trash anyway. So, you know, I already saved it once. How many more times do you want me to save it? <laughs> I already gave it another life as a glue page. Uh, if you have a card or whatever you have, or just, you know, press it real good, you believe that you do want your glue sticks to be pressed on pretty well. Your glue, you know, your glue that you use with glue, any glue, you want to press on well. And you don't have to center everything. It's okay. In fact, it's better if you don't, from what I've read and watched. I've not been to art school. I'm not a trained artist, whatever. I'm just a little black rain cloud. I'm just, um, you know, I just like to, I like what I like. That's why I'm not afraid of even numbers. I like to, I know the rules, some of them, you know, rule of threes and Blah, 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 triangle, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But that doesn't mean I have to follow those rules. If I like the way it looks with two things on there, guess what? Because look, there's red and it's red. There's only two. I mean, there may, and maybe your focal point will have something red on there. Who knows? But I'm good with it. I'm not bothered. Um, and I'm actually am I am really trying to not think too much about it. Ooh, look at they're like perfect together. All right, let's see what I can do here. I'm gonna go this way this time. This one will go this way. And I need to change out my blue page. But am I? No, because that would make sense. And it does say on uh, the Scotch Create, it actually does say to make it um, permanent, you need to do two layers. I noticed that a long time ago when I first got it, actually. Oh man, I was hoping I didn't go that far over with the glue because I was going to try to reuse that piece. Now that I've done that, I'm just like, hmm. Oh, Mike's home. Alright, um. Well, that can go sideways, right? That's not the end of the world, as we know it. It's the end of the world, as we know it. It's the end of the world, as we know it. It's the end of the world, as we know it. And I feel fine. Oh no, there is something about that that I like. Let's do that. I'm not hating it. Wasn't I going to replace this little 
blue page. And then I said I would do a couple, um, whatchamacallits, focal images, right? I've got some coffee ones. That'll make it super easy. <laughs> The greens aren't perfectly matched. That's okay. We don't have to be perfectly matched. Do the unexpected. All right, I'm gonna. Pop, I guess I'm gonna stop the video now and do some more collaging, and then come back later, like when he falls asleep on the sofa, which will happen, and do the focal points. Okay, finally back. I have like 14 minutes. Oh, my thing is dying. Okay. Um, all right. Whoops. So I collaged a bunch of these tags. And eventually, someday, I'm going to finish decorating them all. Problem is, I don't always have ephemera that fits this size tag. I found a lot of them that are just a little big. Um... This one actually just a label or something it will probably be good and some of them that's it I mean you can do a label and they'll be fine uh, this one I didn't use any digitals uh, this one I was doing my live on Sunday uh, the question is you know can we see more things where there's not digital so I'm gonna work on that so this is just um, scrapbook paper and book page that one's finished this one is Artie Mays, and it's pretty good the way it is. It may get a label. I don't know. I'll leave it in this pile. So I've got this pile that I can work on with you. And they may get something else after the fact, but let's see if I can let's go ahead and get them completed. So I've got my little Dollar Tree book of quotes that I got from the Dollar Tree back in... January, February, March, I don't know, December 2019, I think. It's probably like a 2020 type. Well, actually it's not. It could be for any year. Because it, it just has... No, I guess it says like Thursday, January 9th. So I think it was for 2020. If they were smart, they just would have put January 9th and not the date. And, oops, I was going to stick this under here. I just needed a little space for the bunny's ears. Otherwise I would have covered Mr. Churchill's name completely. So I was trying to figure out how to get it on there while it's still there. And Eternal Optimist Peter Rabbit. Let's see. I was trying to get his. Oh, that should work. And let's see. Do I want to do the corners? I think I want to do the corners. I didn't um, cut the corners on all of them, just in case. And I think before this video, you'll see another video that I did. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do it every day. Hopefully I do it a few times a week. Um, work on the uh, Junk Journal July and do some of the prompts in there. I'm not gonna stress out over it. I'm not gonna try to force myself to finish it. I'm just going to try to enjoy it. Is what I'm gonna do. All right, this piece needs to get down on something because it's just been <laughs> sitting in my pile getting all messed up so I thought it was time to go ahead and get him attached somewhere but then this piece was on my desk I don't think I'm going to put it on there I'm just going to put him on here he needs to get down on something down on a otherwise he'll end up in the trash <laughs> and I don't want to take all that time fussy cutting this little bird and all his leaves only to have them um, oh shoot make it a mess only to have him not get used you know what I mean and he works on so many things so I don't know why he has not gotten used yet all right 
Good thing this glue dries clear, right? Might not dry unshiny though. I had oh, probably threw it away. I guess I had a paper towel earlier. Oh, just for this type of glue business. Okay, yeah, got the whole bird on there. Didn't have to cut them off. This branch, on the other hand, yeah. I mean, there's that weird nut thing. Couldn't tell what it was anyway, so. That looks like it could be an acorn. And the leaf has detached. What in the... And now I can't really get it up to bring it back down to where it was attached. There we go. Oh, my goodness. That's why he needed, he needed to get down on some paper. There's, like, glue everywhere now. Well... Never know, he may end up in one of my journals, which I just made, which you, if you watch my last video, you saw me make. So, you already know that I'm thinking about, so if you watch my last video, you know I'm thinking about doing the, the thing, the Junk Journal July. We had a journal for it and everything. I'm looking for my labels or something. Something, something, something. Just put a little ticket down here. The ticket's too big though. I wish. These are just so shiny. Let's try a number three by itself. I did reverse some of these um, tin type or letterpress because, you know, they're backwards because that's how you do them, like in a press thingy. What if I, um, oh my goodness. When you're old newspapers, the way they used to do their thing. Where was that going? Is that where this one is? Oh, I had a different quote on that one. Ah, oh, that's where that one goes. I'm like, I'm losing all my quotes. That's alright, I got more quotes. Oh, that must be one. That must be the one for... That one, okay. I don't really have a quote for him yet. But yeah, we only have a few more minutes for run out of storage. Even though I thought I deleted something. But anyway, let me pause for a second. All right, grab this one, learning to fly, cut it in half. And going to put that on here. Just for something. To fill this void down here. I'll glue that later if I need to. So there. Another one. Collage and done. Oh, he has to go this way. That's why. I think I want him to go this way. Yep. Glue. He doesn't fit the long way. Gotta fit him the short way. Just making lots of mess with my glue. A big gluey mess kind of a day. I liked well I just needed to use him. I kept he kept almost being used on stuff and I'm like yep he just needs to get used. But we've got this in this kind of uh they're similar colors. So I figured that might work. Cut off some of the trees. All I have to cut off. And it had already gotten cut off so Yep, there was a couple of these where I just used paper, digital paper that was already sort of collaged and just did the whole, the whole piece right on there. So that can be a pocket or a journal card. This I cut out of a magazine. This bird, his tail's cut off, which bothers me a little, as it would. But it was already cut off. I did not do the cutting of the tail. That's just where the picture ended. So that is why I have that number to cover the fact that his tail has been cut. And then what's our quote on this one? Well, I don't know. And then we bring some blue over to this side too. We don't develop courage by being happy every day. We develop it by surviving difficult times and challenging adversity. Barbara DeAngelis. 
So I just kind of rip these out um, and stick them in. I mean, you know, put them on the the lay of the tag. And what it, it using these quotes helps me to be able to use smaller pictures because the quote takes up a nice, good amount of space. See, I got my this little owl here, and now I'm wondering. Eh, no, not this time. All right. And we got a C.S. Lewis quote here. And a mess of glue on the back now. Because, you know, it's me we're talking about here. Leaving some space at the top. So I'm going to kind of cluster him down into the middle here, basically. I'm not sure where I want this yet. Ugh, glue. Glue everywhere. I just wanted to bring some of the blue from over here to somewhere. So, so yep, that was just me doing the backs and the fronts and the finishing off. Well, the focal points, the finishing off will be any tab tabs and whatnot. And then I also, I use quite a bit of um, pieces like this owl has been in my stash since the beginning of my junk journal days. So he's finally getting used. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to use some things up. You know, yeah, we'll just stick this down. Oh, we'll just stick it right there, I guess. That's where it's going to go so much and then we just have a nice big blank space right there because why not uh about the chicken i cut him off a postcard thingy uh that i printed and so he has a stamp on his head but that's okay i keep hitting you i'm sorry you are low enough that i can totally see into the camera and see if i'm in view or not so now I'm going to have to go delete stuff off my phone just so that I can um, make space to be able to merge this video with the last one where I started this project. Well, I was hoping more of that seeds thing would show, but apparently not. But I got the blue here, blue here, and I may do a blue tag and I might put a word. Word, 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 word. And then this one I stuck on a, uh, oh, die cut that I had gotten. And then he's going to look really great right in that pop of color. Because he doesn't have a lot of his own color. I'm using my um, Aileen's Quick Dry Art, no, uh, Quick Dry Tacky Glue. And I don't have the little tiny tip on it like I would Art Glitter Glue. Which I probably could if I put it in the art glitter glue bottle. I'm just gonna put him where we want him in that die cut. So that's it. I hope you all have a delightful day. Um, I had some others that I did. Uh, when I was doing my live, I went ahead and decorated some because it. Ah! I can't. Can I go over any? Do I have any playroom? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna fold his tail over. Just for you, Carrie. Folding its tail over so I'm not cutting it off. I'll cut the branch though. I don't care about the branch. The birds, on the other hand, no, I don't know. I just, sometimes I just like to be silly like that, I guess. And he'll probably get a label up there. And I do want to cut the top bits. Wow, he's taller. I must have cut this one down sometimes. If my papers don't quite reach and I don't want to add like a fourth paper, I just cut them down to be shorter. So yeah, three by five cards, fun looking backs, fun looking fronts. I Now I've got some lots of tags to uh, put in my journals or I have uh, one of those old boxes. We used to have these three by five index card box boxes at work and so I thought well that might be fun to have 
So I think I will store them in here and see, it goes, holds them up. So y'all have a delightful day. Love you.